Jumpa yang nama Victor yang jawab dah. Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. Assalamualaikum. Hello. Hi. Assalamualaikum. Wait, eh. I need to set up my computer first. Take some time. Get started. Okay, let me set up everything. How are you today? I'm good. Alhamdulillah. It's great. Okay. 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 Can you hear my voice? Is it clear? Okay. Clear. Okay. Clear, clear, clear. I do not know how to mute the entry of participant. I'm trying to figure out. Mana kat sini tak ada Where is it? Because I open two devices here uh, One is my phone And the one is for my PC So I'm trying to find The button for this one Check Okay, new entry. Okay. Right. Kenapa kamera saya ni tak nampak? Macam gelap sikit kan? Tak apalah. It's fine. Okay, Alhamdulillah we meet again on this uh, uh, virtual class for today. Uh, today we will continue with uh, our web lecture too. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And very good afternoon to everyone, especially uh, for my students from BITI. Okay, and uh, 
other students from uh, Dr. Nohidaya class, please welcome to my uh, for BTMW four one two technology entrepreneurship. Okay. Yeah. Right. So may I know uh, how many students from Dr. Nohidaya class? Can anybody uh, respond to my question? Play. Or you can just write down in the chat box. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's 60 or 90 around that. 60 or 90. And you are, all of you are from which group? Uh, BMMV, FTKMP. BMMV, MV. Yeah. Or FTKMP. All right. So, welcome to my class. So, kita ada student daripada FTKMP. Hopefully, uh, all of you can get web links from Dr. Noh Hidayah or maybe from the ULEARN because we already uh, organized uh, the, the, the online class for this semester. And hopefully there is no issue or no problems regarding the placement for each of the topics. Okay, we have 10 topics. Kita ada 10 topic to cover on this subject. Okay. All right. Uh, and I would like to inform that some of my students uh, from direct entry, they are now in the hall for the convocation day. So uh, I got uh, some of the... Uh, the, the emails eh, from the students and they inform me that they are having a good time for their big day. So I excuse them from the class. So they are enjoying themselves for the convocation day. And for the rest of, of the students, thank you so much for your time, uh, for spending your, uh, your time with me all day. So from two o'clock until four, okay? So let's begin with the lecture. If you have anything that you want to ask uh, regarding the topic or anything regarding the subject, you can unmute your microphone uh, so, so that we can talk it right, directly and we can discuss in the class. Or you can also write down in the chat box, okay? You can find from the WebEx meeting, there is a, a button that you can just click on the button for the chat box and then write down the questions or comments okay i will read while doing my lecture throughout the uh, throughout the time okay all right uh let me introduce myself for those students who are new in the class okay uh my name is uh azrina Uman. you can call me madam azrina so i'm from um, fptt i'm one of the lecturer in fptt faculty pengusaha teknologi dan techno usahawanan or english Faculty of Technology Management in Technopreneurship, okay? I've been here for more than 10 years now, I think about 60 years in UTEM, so, and I located uh, my, my office is in Campus Technology to FTKMP, okay? Uh, we have a cubic building, we look at the cubic lah, okay? and where we are in campus technology so you can find my office at level three bangunan utem holdings okay and in that building we have tea life so everyone who want to to, to have a drink uh tea life kita ada bangunan yang ada tea life tu itulah ftt okay so ftkmp dekat je kita berjiran okay so for those students my student bitr ftk FTMK, okay, uh, mungkin agak <laughs> jauh sikit lah kita kan, you all dari dekat. So some of you are in Duran Tunggal, but it's okay. If you can got, if you have time, you can come over and see me, insyaAllah. Okay, kalau nak, uh, you, if, you, if you want to ask anything about your assignments, maybe you can just uh, PM me and then we can set up the appointment, right, to meet and discuss. Okay. Um, let us begin with the sharing the content. Okay, I will share my screen right now. You will see my slide presentation. Okay, so this is my slide presentation. Hopefully that everyone can see it clearly. Okay, thumbs up, please. If you can see the screen, 
clearly. Okay, everyone. Uh, okay, thank you. Terima kasih. Muchísimas uh, gracias. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, sorry now. The slide presentation is not working. I don't know why. When I use in WebEx, it always happened that I cannot use my PowerPoint. I'm sorry for this. Let me see what happened. Maybe I need to stop sharing first. And again, uh, it is better just to transform the slide presentation to to PDF file. This is my third time I'm having problems to use my slide presentation with PowerPoint. So I need to transform it into PDF. Okay. Tunggu sekali. Wait a moment because I'm converting my file from PPT to PDF. I changed the format. Uh, I'm not sure what what uh, what is the problem because when I use WebEx, again it doesn't appear in the WebEx. Now I change my PC, but it's not working. Now I change the format. I hope that it will be fine. Okay, so this is a PDF format, right? Okay. All right, so we want to learn, we want to understand, we want to know how to find opportunity in business, okay? Uh, must remember that in business, the best thing that you need to do before you start your business, before you start your startup, uh, before you start join or open a new venture, you must start with the opportunity, peluang. In Malay, we call it peluang, okay? Or in English, we call it opportunity so uh, how to get this opportunity of course uh, we need to understand okay uh, the, the environment we need to understand the people we need to understand the market okay and before we go further with this uh, understanding on our environment to get our opportunity we go to the first part okay so, in this first part of introductions uh, for, for finding your opportunity, business opportunity, you must know that uh, it, it comes from idea, okay, business idea, okay. Why it is idea? Kenapa datang daripada idea? Why it is come from idea? Because uh, when we say that idea, it is an outcome of your thinking process, okay? Uh, in your mind, okay, in your brain, you have a lot of neurons, okay? Are the neurons, okay? And all these neurons working together, and from this neuron, it starts to, to, to boost your idea, right? So how to make sure that you stimulate, okay? You stimulate your brain so that you can come up with good idea, okay? We need a process, okay? We need a process. So uh, this process we call as thinking process, thinking process. So uh, for example, like, okay, you look uh, from your uh, seaside, okay? From your eyes, okay? You get the impression, okay? You get the impressions, okay? And when you see, you also think. And when you think you get the opinion, so this is the process, opinion, okay? Views, of course, from your uh, eyes, okay? Views, you see, you believe, okay? You believe, when you see, you believe, maybe you get some gesture, okay? And you put a trust on it and you believe on it, okay? Formulation, you start to formulate, okay? And then you get the concept. So this is the process and this process, we call it, as thinking process so the outcome from this thinking process it is an idea the outcome okay at the end apa yang berlaku dalam thinking process ni at the end what will be happen after thinking process okay after you have done the thinking process 
is an idea. Okay. All right. So in entrepreneurship, okay, ideation is the creative process. It's a creative process for generating, for developing, and also for communicating your business idea. So you need to generate, you need to develop, and you need to communicate your new ideas to whom? Maybe to your investors, okay? To the funder, okay? To your subordinates, to your teammates, to your partners. And of course, maybe it could help to your clients to your potential clients, to your target markets, okay? So these are the creative process in ideations, okay? So for many business startup, for new venture, okay, ideation must be centered in solving, okay? In solving customer problems. So we start to think about, uh, we start doing the thinking process and getting the business idea when we try to solve customer problems, we want to solve the issues, the problems or the issues. So it is start from the solving problems. So you must start from the problems. You must find out what will be the problem. Okay. Next. Ada soalan tak? You have any questions? Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Can we proceed? Boleh kita proceed? Boleh eh? Okay. How to generate the idea? Macam mana kita nak generate? Macam mana kita nak dapat idea? How to generate the idea? Okay. Generating an idea involve the whole process. Lagi sekali kita cakap the whole process. Process. Process means that uh, it is an action happen. Okay. What, is, what are the process? Okay. In generating idea. Observations. Okay, observations, thinking by analyzing your environment, okay, communicating, discussing, and also you develop what you get, okay, you analyze and then you develop, maybe you formulate, okay, formulate, uh, maybe you strategize, okay, this is how to develop, okay, and it could be an abstract, concrete or visualize, okay, you can either you are putting uh, the ideas in words okay in wordings okay in a report or maybe you can uh, draw or mapping your ideas okay so this is how you generate the ideas okay so ideas come to entrepreneurs from daily exposure how the ideas come to the entrepreneurs to the usahawan to the business fan, to the business woman, okay? It's come from when you do your daily routine, daily exposure, okay? Uh, not only that, when you do your daily routine, okay? You also can get the idea from your frustrating experience, from the problems, okay? Or source of irritations, okay? Uh, something that irritates you, something that bothering you, okay? And maybe also comes from the complaints, okay? Complaints and also not to forget the feedback, the response, okay? When I'm asking you, okay, in the class, do you have any questions, okay? You will respond back to me by using the emoticon, by using the thumbs up. Maybe if you do not understand, maybe you can put the, the question in the chat box. So this is how we want to improve to get the idea. Okay, either the students like my, my lecture or do not like the lecture. So how to do that? Um, we asked, we asked, we, we asked the students to give the response. We provide the instructions, okay? You need to uh, respond back to me by using this uh, emoticon. So when we get the response, it is where I get the idea to improve in terms of my lecture. Okay, in terms of my lecture or maybe in terms of teaching and learning method. Okay, so this is an example how I can get the idea to improve in my teaching and learning method for the subject. Okay, so get back to the, the entrepreneurships. Okay, uh, uh, why customer complaints and feedback is very good because uh, sometimes 
it might provide an opportunity. Okay, it might provide an opportunity to develop something better, as I told you. Okay, something better, something good. Okay, uh, quicker, cheaper than what we have for the existing products. Okay, next. Okay, so we start from the ideas. We know that we know we need to generate the ideas. Okay, either from the observation, uh, analyzing. Okay. And then we need to, after analyzing, we need to dis communicate, okay, discussing and developing. So, uh, where we can find the ideas, okay, as we know that it is come from the, uh, from the problems, from the irritations, okay, from the uh, daily routine, and from the complaints, feedback, okay. So we go to the three, uh, what we call three sources okay three sources there are three or four three or four sources on how to get ideas first we are talking about working experience okay working experience okay uh this is very famous uh, type of source of business ideas okay because normally when we do our routine our uh, daily activities when we are for example as a student you are studying you are doing assignment, you are doing the assessment, okay? Uh, so you are doing the practical in your laboratory. So this is a good source of how to generate the idea, okay? So according to Strident 2007, work experience is one of the primary sources of a business idea, okay? In entrepreneurship, it is also, uh, it is also one of primary sources, okay? to get to generate a business ideas. So normally, normally an entrepreneur can use his or her working experience and technical skills that they obtain from their earlier working, okay, work to resolve problems and shortcomings in his or her present work and operation system. So this is the explanation from this definition, okay? So normally when we have uh, experiences, we do have the skill, okay? We try to solve the problems. And maybe if you are having any difficulties, any challenges throughout our process in this working environment, we also trying to improve, okay? So this is where we can get a lot of ideas to our working experiences, okay? And then we go to the next one, okay? Other type of sources that we can get the business idea is through your hobby, okay? Hobby, okay? What is your personal interest? instead of doing your daily routine activities okay working experiences you also can get the idea from your hobby your personal interest for example okay ladies girls okay and most of you maybe some of you love to make cakes or bake cakes okay so this is how the girls the ladies or also now we can see a lot of uh male students also getting to this idea okay to sell cake okay through online so they start from the hobby personal interest okay they start at their home okay and they try to bake a cake and then at the end when the cake turned out to be good so they want to use it the idea to generate their income okay personal income so this business may grow as a demand increase okay the home baker normally will need to decide at one point, okay, whether they want to become an entrepreneur by managing their growing business, or maybe they just return back as a as a hobby. Okay, so they have two options here because this is their personal interest, their hobbies. Okay, so maybe they want to proceed from the hobby, turn to be the home business. And maybe they just want to be as hobby, leave it as hobby, okay? Because I do not want as 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 you ask me, I love to cook at home, okay? I love to cook. I know how to cook, okay? Uh, many type of dishes, but 
I do not have any interest, okay, to grow into business. With my personal interest, I do not want to proceed to my business, okay? It is because time constraint, time constraint. I cannot focus two jobs at one time because my working in the university, we need to take a look at um, a lot of things, a lot of commitments, okay, instead of uh, doing the lecture, giving the lecture to the students. I also have to have to focus on my research, okay, on my PhD. So this is uh, will not uh, really uh, help me, okay, to pursue my hobby into my growing business, okay. So this is what we call true personal interest or hobby, okay. Another way to get new ideas okay from the observations okay from the observations normally when you go to exhibitions okay uh, maybe you make a networking with uh, other colleagues okay in the university when you uh, find your friends from other faculties okay with different uh, different area different uh, knowledge okay different expertise, different skills. Okay, so you are making friends with them, right? So this is how you link with other faculties, other universities and become a networking people, okay? And when you do the experimentations, okay, uh, you are making project, okay, doing a project or, or preparing your project, you also involve in many type of research, okay? So this is how you generate the ideas from this type of uh, what we call it uh, sources, okay? Exhibitions, university research institute, networking, okay? Or maybe for those students who already involved in the business, uh, they could also have networking with sales representative, wholesaler, supplier, distributor, manufacturers, franchises, professor, and research scientists, so on so forth, okay? So this is how you can find those people who will be able to give you a lot of ideas, okay? A lot of ideas, all right? So it is also important to observe, as I told you, as I, tell, uh, as I mentioned again in here, uh, for true observation, true observation. So you see and you understand it, okay? Pay attention to what, uh, to the latest trends, okay? To what happened nowadays, okay? To the latest trend. What would be the technological advancement, okay? Uh, from now, we are moving IR 4.0 to IR 4, 5.0. So maybe uh, we need to see what are the latest trends, okay? Um, how to see the latest trend, how to know the technologi technological advancement or development, maybe from articles, journals, okay? maybe from the magazines, maybe from the newspaper, maybe from the television, radios, internet, okay? social medias. So there are a lot of uh, platforms that you can use to get all this kind of information to understand, to know, to understand about the latest trends, okay? And then the last but not least is where we scan our environment, okay? We systematically scan our environment. Why we need to scan our environment? We need to look around us, our surroundings, Okay, so apa yang ada dekat environment kita? In Malay, we call it persekitaran lah. Okay, persekitaran in Malay. So, environment. We need to identify the business idea. Not only you just stay at one place, for example, you are staying in, in your term, you, you uh, Durian Tunggal, okay? We know that Durian Tunggal, uh, maybe for two or more than two years, okay? So, you are staying here and you know what we have in Malacca. Okay, and you need to know and understand the culture, the people in Malacca. So maybe from there, you can get the idea on what would be my potential business idea. Not only for your business idea, because we are in this subject, we are talking about the business, 
we are talking about the entrepreneurships, okay? But for your project, okay, final year project, for your thesis, okay, for your research, this is where you need to scan your environment to see who are they, what we have in our environment. It's not only in internal environment, but outside external environment that we can see the government, uh, government and uh, agencies, the political agenda, the social economic. Okay, so there are many external environment around us. Okay, so study and analyze. Okay, what type env environment that we have? Okay, maybe we can also analyzing what we happen now. Uh, after 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 about after the COVID-19, okay, from the pandemic of COVID-19, now we proceed or shift to endemic of COVID-19. Pandemic to endemic. So what would be the changes in this environment? So this could be the possibility. Okay, this is why entrepreneurs need to working closely with the environment. Uh, lihat persekitaran, okay? Kena sentiasa lihat persekitaran. Tak boleh short sendiri, okay? Sorry. Uh, sometimes I mix dengan bahasa Melayu, okay? Sebab, you know, is uh, ada yang faham dalam bahasa Inggeris sangat baik, okay? Some of you uh, might really well versed in English, but some of you may not, okay? Sebab, uh, why I need to mix with Malay and English because my knowledge is not only for those students who understand English very well, but my knowledge is also to share with the students who are not really uh, good in English, but they want to learn, but they want to learn. Okay, so you can kena scan lah, kena tengok persekitaran awak. Okay, kalau tak, tak nampak idea tu. You cannot see the idea, you cannot get the idea. Okay. All right, uh, so let us move to the next part. In business, we have a uh, matrix of business ideas, okay? What is metric? Matrix is not movie matrix, kan? The woman in matrix movie, no. This is the diagram of how we need to understand in generating business idea, okay? Uh, kita akan tengok after this, okay? In figure 10.1, okay? There are four quadrants, are the four quadrants. Uh, the four quadrants to analyze on how to identify new ideas. Okay, let me see. Okay, here is the the matrix of business idea. Okay, ni kita panggil business idea or market matrix. Okay, this one. For those students who are coming from engineering background, this is the first time that you see this type of matrix. Okay. Uh, for for those students who are now running the business, this is the best time to study the concept of business. Okay, you need to add some additional knowledge. Okay, uh, even though you are doing the business, you are running running the business stuff, but you have you must have some concept in business. Okay, so this is how you want to know how to analyze, how to understand about the business idea. Okay, we are looking at these metrics actually. Okay, so for example, here you have existing business idea with the existing market. So existing business idea versus uh, 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 what we call it existing business idea with existing market. So this is the first quadrant. Okay, first quadrant. Second quadrant. Okay, second quadrant. Existing business idea in new market okay this is second quadrant the third quadrant where you have new business idea in an existing market okay and the last one is the fourth quadrant new business idea in new market so there are four types of four quadrants types four quadrant in business idea or business market quadrant Sorry, matrix. Okay. Kalau you nampak kat situ, if you go scanning the environment, you go outside uh, from the campus, okay, maybe in, in the campus, it's very limited to see all these kind of small businesses. But if you go out <laughs> from the campus, if you are stay in your rental house, okay, uh, maybe you can see around zoo, dekat Bukit Beruang, 
Taman Tasik iCrow, okay? MITC, you can see a lot of small, medium enterprises, SME, or industry kecil dan sederhana, micropreneur, okay? So, what, how they get the business idea? You can classify them into these four quadrants. Okay. All right. So, normally for the first quadrant, okay, existing business ideas in existing market, normally they are offering existing product or services in existing market. Maksudnya, kalau you nampak orang tu meniaga benda yang sama, if let's say that you can see outside there, they are open a kiosk ataupun warung, they are selling the same product as whatever they have for other competitors for, for the similar market. This is what we call this micropreneur, this entrepreneur getting the ideas from the first quadrant. The new uh, existing business idea, existing market. So no new business idea, it is not in new market. So it's everything, whatever we have, we start with the business straight away. Okay. So the first quadrant, second quadrant. Okay. Existing business idea, but you go to the new market. Okay. You are offering to a new market. So you have, you for example, for the food and beverages. Okay. You, you go to the new, new, uh, this new market. It's not only for, for example, the target market is for uh, for students, for example, maybe you find for other market, it's not only focusing for university students, maybe for industry, okay, for industry, for private sector, for government bodies. So this is new market. So your food is not only to cater all the demands from the youth students, but also for other working people. Okay, this is what we call new market. Existing business idea, but for new market. Siapa yang cakap tu, Habu Huzaifa? You are not aware that your microphone is on. Okay, please switch off for a while. Maybe if you have questions, you want to ask me anything. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You can unmute your microphone later, okay? Abu Huzaifa, dengar tak? Okay, ah, dengar, dengar. We... Okay, it's fine. Ah, uh, tahu. Kalau dah pakai phone, if you are using phone, you did not notice that you are actually switch on the microphone or miss uh, to open it. Okay. All right. We go to the third one. Uh, new business idea in the existing market. Okay. In the existing market, new business idea in the existing. New business idea. Maybe you want to. Uh, improve vice in terms of the packaging, in terms of the ingredients, in terms of the uh, maybe uh, the, 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 the promotional strategy, okay? Uh, could be new innovations, okay? For your products, for your service, okay? For example, like uh, instead of people who are selling coconut drink, they want to make it as, oh, okay, 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 sorry, sorry. Maybe you want to, um, we go for the, 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 the much clearer example, okay? Uh, we find the market, uh, we, we, we find what will be the business, okay? What type of category? Uh, maybe, um, okay, in, in these situations of COVID-19, eh? COVID-19, okay, uh, we know that, we need to wear the face mask, okay? Everyone is compulsory to wear face mask, okay? So you get the idea, okay? What will be the problems? Uh, the virus, the coronavirus, okay? Uh, and we want to protect ourselves. So this is the solution. We want to protect ourselves from the coronavirus. So the problem is we want, we do not, know how to protect okay for example we do not know how to protect ourselves from the coronavirus so the solution is we need to we need to wear the face mask we need to wear the face mask so our problem is the coronavirus and we need to protect ourselves from the coronavirus and the solution is we need to pro protect it by using 
face mask okay by using the face mask okay so this is the new business idea in in existing market in uh in what we call it in pharmaceutical pharmaceutical market in health market okay so this is how we can protect ourselves okay so the inventions of face masks is not only to protect from the before the we use it for the industry okay when when for the industry use the face mask to protect themselves from the uh, from the dirt okay from the dirt or maybe some of the chemicals uh, exposure okay but now because of the coronavirus we have to use so the man uh special i do not know special design or maybe materials okay that suited with uh daily face masks okay that we can use for daily use okay for anybody for anybody not only for 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 young adult for adults but also for the kids okay for adult and for kids so this is new ideas we need to use it daily okay and we want to use it for everyone so you are getting a lot of ideas to make new inventions for a face mask because of COVID-19. So existing market, we know that it is for pharmace pharmaceutical or medicine or medical uh, market, okay? Normally we go to the hospital, people are using a face mask, okay? So this is why we go to the quadrant number three, quadrant number three. And then quadrant number four, quadrant number four is totally new. Everything is a new business idea, new market. Okay, it opened up a new market for this. A lot of things happens during our COVID nineteen pandemic outbreak. So come up with the vaccine. Okay, vaccine. We are not only uh, need to get first vaccine, second vaccine, now booster, and then coming maybe later in future the fourth injections of our vaccinations. So maybe we do not know. So this is how to protect ourselves. Okay, uh, there are coming a lot of uh, new business idea during the pandemic outbreak. So we are we are now can see a lot of quadrant number four, quadrant number four because of the pandemic outbreak. Okay, faham tak? Faham tak? Can you understand? Is it clear on how to get the ideas? Okay, yang saya cerita ni berdasarkan okay. kepada environment kita eh. Kepada environment. Kalau I'm referring to the COVID-19, it refer to the environment. Bukannya hobbies, bukan personal interest. Tak ada kena-mengena eh. Uh, sama ada from the environment uh, ataupun lebih kepada environment lah. Working experience tak juga. Okay, environment apa yang berlaku sekarang. Okay. Alright, then we go to the techniques. Okay, banyak techniques and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you in this class know how to do this technique, okay? And you are actually doing it, okay? Maybe in the focus group, in grouping, where you do the group work, where you do the experimentation, project, okay? You are doing this technique on how to generate ideas, okay? For example, for your final year project, other for assignments, you are actually doing brainstorming, discussing, getting the ideas from your friends, okay? And then you brainstorm, discuss. Okay, this is brainstorming. And then focus group where you have a leader, okay? And you lead, your leader is much expert compared to others, know everything about the project better than others, maybe get the first information from the supervisor, from the lecturer, and then share with others, okay? And maybe you have uh, one supervisor, okay? And this supervisor also helping you to, 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 to make sure that everyone in the group understands. So this is where we have focus group. Normally in focus group, you have moderator, okay? Moderator. Moderator means that uh, the, the, the roles of moderator is to moderating the discussion, to moderate the discussions among the group members, okay? And this moderator is very helpful to make sure that everyone uh, in the group discuss about the topic, 
not jumping around, not uh, 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 talking or discuss out of the topic. Okay, so this is the role of moderator in the focus group. And then uh, this is the common one, survey. Survey, okay, you are making survey. And a lot of uh, students, a lot of lecturers, a lot of people doing survey using Google Forms. Google Forms, okay, so this is one way to generate the idea. Okay, ada soalan tak? Asyik tanya je, Madam ni asyik tanya soalan je kan? <laughs> I'm always asking questions in class. If you have question, you can write down in the chat box. Let me see. Jai. Ada tak apa-apa soalan dalam chat box? Tak ada pun? Tak ada soalan ke? You all semua faham ke? Faham, Madam. Ya yeah, ke? ke tak Tapi, faham, Madam, faham? ada satu benda je, Madam. Kalau existing okay, market, yeah. macam ni uh -huh. kita nak, nak macam... Tajudin, Tajudin, can you ask can you ask the question in English, please? Because okay, we have Madam. international students in this class. <coughs> Uh, so uh, no, that's if that's it's an existing market, how can like we stand out? If it's an existing Ex market, how can we stand out from others? What are the how ideas? Can, uh, how can we stand out from? The, uh, can you repeat again? Uh, I try no, to understand. If, if it's an existing market, we have an idea, and we are choosing existing market. And okay. we want to stand out from the others. Okay. Are you talking the first quadrant? Ah, uh, yeah. It's an existing market. Ah, uh, yeah. Offering existing, existing, existing business idea? Yeah. Okay. So it means that you are not uh, really go for competitive advantage. Kita tak, you are not looking at the comp competitive advantages. Okay. If you are poorly thinking about competitive advantages, not compete dengan uh, pesaing kan, ataupun competitors, of course you will go to the uh, maybe third and fourth, third and fourth quadrant. Normally, this particular micropreneurs, entrepreneurs, okay, first quadrant and second quadrant, they are focusing on getting the profit only, okay. But for those students, technopreneur, technopreneur students can, especially all of you are from engineering background, okay? So we are uh, promoting all of you, generic engineering students, becoming technopreneur, not entrepreneur lah, becoming as technopreneur because you have a lot of ideas in engineering background, okay? You can innovate. A lot of things because you know technology very well. So why don't you start with um, new business idea in existing market or new, totally new business idea and new market? Okay, because you want to challenge yourself that you want to create new things, new thing with unique selling propositions. Because uh, ni dalam business kan bila kata kata unique selling proposition ni kita panggil uniqueness uniqueness okay barulah it's not only you compete with the competitors it's not only you your your product becoming stand out in the market but also you have value added ataupun kita panggil uh, unique selling propositions uh, sebab kalau you take macam tajudin cakap tadi okay kalau saya cakap dalam bahasa Melayu eh kalau tajudin cakap tadi uh, lebih kepada nak dapat duit saja profit keuntungan Sebab tu kita nampak penjual-penjual, contohnya penjual di luar sana yang jual makanan, kuih, muih, lebih kepada nak dapat untung jualan saja. Okay, itu lebih kepada micropreneur. Kalau technopreneur, dia tak nak memikir, dia lebih kepada lebih higher. They are thinking technopreneur, they are thinking much higher. Uh, making new innovations, okay, using technology to advancement. Okay, they want to grow their business to the next stage. Maybe they want to grow their business, not only selling the product in the local market, maybe in future they want to sell the product to the international market. So this is how you shift your mind. Okay, shift your mind. Boleh tak Tajin? Is it okay? I'm answering this to you. Yes, madam, but I don't know, madam, kalau, uh, if we want to do a new market, a new product, first it's high risk and the potential to fail is a lot so yes. isn't it better if we start existing market 
then innovate to a new market rather course, than starting with new market uh it depend on the on, on what you have okay normally because you this is why we can, we ask the student to generate the ideas when you brainstorm with your uh maybe your 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 partners okay uh, how many um for example like how many resources that you have in terms of uh money capital in terms of resources for example staff maybe in terms of the you know uh uh in terms of the if you have the technology okay technology uh expertise skills that you have okay so you need to analyze it so but dalam gener generating in, in generating ideas you need to do the thinking process thinking process observing analyzing communicating and then developing it's not the easiest way lah kalau kita kata oh kalau start dengan existing ideas and then maybe we can just proceed with existing market but if you want to grow your business of course you want to challenge yourself you want to take a risk you need to take a risk in business you need to take a risk okay you need to take a risk because you want to grow your business if you do not want to grow your business then remain as it is Tajude? Yeah, I do. Okay. But, of course, you said that risk. If you have good enough information, dah cukup semua sekali bila you dah buat observation, you buat analyzing, you dah buat, uh, apa tu, the, uh, communicating and developing, dah cukup lengkap proses tu, and then you put on trust to start the business and go for it. Selagi tak cukup, you need to still working on it. Okay, synthesis, but, but you can proceed with your existing business idea with existing market, you can proceed, but to grow further, to grow further, I'm talking about to grow further, to go to the next stage, okay, especially kalau yang nak jadi technopreneur tu, memang of course you need to go further lah, tak boleh lah jadi micropreneur selama-lamanya, if you go outside, orang yang menjual kuih-muih, uh, contohnya food and beverages kat luar sana, bukannya kata, Mereka tak bagus. Mereka adalah kategori, they are uh, this micropreneur kategori. Yeah? Type of entrepreneur kita panggil micropreneur. Yang bawah dia punya uh, capital, dia punya apa tu, jumlah jualannya, number of capital, uh, uh, apa tu, uh, what we call it, uh, apa tu, dia punya hasil keuntungan dia tu, okay, di bawah 300 ribu. Bawah 300 ribu. Ringgit Malaysia below than 300,000 ringgit Malaysia. So this is what we call micropono. Kebanyakan di Malaysia ni, peniaga-peniaga ni, uh, yang di luar sana yang menjaja-menjaja buka restoran, okay, open a restaurant, kedai makan, okay, uh, kedai runcit, okay, mereka adalah kategori micropono's. Okay, Tajudin? Okay, Madam. Good, good questions, good question to start. This is how you generate the ideas, asking the question. Okay, asking the questions. Okay, brainstorming, kita dah pergi eh. Kita focus group, saya dah discuss, you can read by yourself. Okay, transformations. Okay, if, if you want to transform your business idea into opportunities, now we are coming. We want to transform our business idea into the business opportunity. Tadi tak nampak lagi opportunity. But from the ideas, you can get the opportunity. Because when you get the ideas from brainstorming, from the uh, from the focus group, from the survey, okay, you can get a lot of information. A lot of information. Kita dapat banyak maklumat. A lot of information. Okay. And then, in this uh, getting new ideas, entrepreneur may ask the following questions. Okay, for example, has it solved the customer problems of pain? Banyak-banyak idea yang keluar A, B, C, D until Z. Okay, when you do for brainstorming, when you do focus group, when you do a survey, you ask it again. It is, has it solved the customer problem of pain? Pain ni adalah masalahnya, kalau kita tahu pain maksudnya kesakitan eh. Sakit. Okay, pain. Okay, so problems. Okay, problems. Has it solved customer problem of pain? Okay, yes or no? Okay. 
Let's go to the next question. Does it offer higher value added products or services? Yes or no? Does it have a unique selling proposition? Uniqueness? Yes or no? Okay. Can it be produced at acceptable cost? And marketed and sold at profit? Yes or no? Okay. Does it have competitive advantage compared to competitors product? Yes or no? So you need to filter it out. Filter. Okay, the about filtering. Okay, where you want to transform your yeah. business idea into business opportunity. Yes, if let's say all the five questions, actually we have a lot of questions, but we just give you five. Okay, this is the five basic. Rancak sangat tu. Rancak sangat tu. Betul lah pasal. Rancak sangat tu. Mama awal. Kejap, kejap, kejap. Oh, ini lah kan. Tapi daya eh. Borak lagi. Start now. Start now. Saya try nak, nak, nak apa? Nak tutup dia punya tu my phone. Ah, dia dah tutup dah tu. Okay. Alright, dah tutup. Okay, thank you. So, uh, there are many actually questions that need to use as to filter it out. Okay, tapi is some of the basic questions. Normally, we use it uh, as a as a basic lah, as a basic or fundamental on how to filter your ideas that you can turn into opportunity. Okay? If let's say all the uh, answers positive, yes, 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 then you can proceed. Okay, means that your ideas is good. And you can turn into opportunity, good opportunity. Okay. When, when an idea is an opportunity. Okay, of course lah. Ini secara uh, summarizations, eh? As a summarizations. Okay, there are three elements here. When you can uh, know that your idea is an opportunity. Uh, the idea can solve the problem. Number one, solve a problem. Okay, if your idea can solve the problem, that's good hint. Okay, that's good, uh, good, uh, good, uh, what we call it, good signal. Okay, that's a good signal. If let's say that your idea is also creating or adding value, okay, okay, to your product, to your service, means that it's good. Okay, it's good. And of course, okay, you can make robust market and get a lot of profit margin. Dalam business, yang paling penting sekali profit margin. Profit margin mesti tinggi. Okay, mesti harga, mesti high. Kalau tak tinggi, tak gunalah you pergi invest ataupun jadikan idea tu sebagai if you want to use the idea to turn out into your opportunity. No, stop. Find other ideas. Okay, that's why when you want to start a business, you must, you normally when you see that people are discussing, okay, with their friends, with their partners, okay, maybe they they have mentor, okay, mentor, they asking these questions, okay. Uh, for example, like Aziza Osman, okay, uh, Aziza Osman, a lot of their proteges, okay, under him. So this is how he guide, okay, the the protege uh, for the young entrepreneur, entrepreneurs in Malaysia to become successful entrepreneur, okay. By trying to give a guideline, okay, give the guideline, advisors okay on how to turn the business idea into opportunity so you just take these three elements as your base on how to identify that this idea is good as opportunity ambil tiga tiga ni tak salah tiga ni adalah mana-mana pergi belajar theory pun belajar konsep business pun inilah tiga yang diajar solve problem create or add value and then you can make a robust market and high profit margin. Inshallah, inshallah, your business idea is is a good opportunity. Okay. Okay. Uh, and not only that, some other entrepreneur, okay, they want to cut it short. Okay, they want to turn their business idea, uh, to business opportunity. Okay, to business opportunity. The fastest way is normally when you buy from the existing business lah. Uh, beli 
beli perniagaan orang lain. Okay, buying off existing business. So, business opportunities can also be in the form of existing business. So, this is another way how to find opportunities by buying of existing business from others. But this one, idea yang saya cakap ni, so we improve my ni, through the generating ideas. Proses ni lama sebab proses ni melibatkan creative process. Creative process, okay. So, ini lebih lama, ini lebih cepat. Okay. Uh, but, even though it's very fast, it incur a lot of money because you need to buy the existing business for a certain amount of price. Okay, for a certain amount of price. Of course, when people selling their business, they include all the facilities, okay, the assets, and maybe some of the people. Jual sekali lah, especially dengan staff-staff sekali. Okay, so this is how you can see and analyze either is viable or not. Either is viable or not. Either is a good offer or not a good offer. Okay. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions up until this? No, oh, madam. Is it okay? Is it oh, fine? Madam. Thumbs up, please. Okay. Boleh lah minum. Kalau nak minum, you want to take a break. If you want to drink, have some drinks. Can drink. Boleh minum. Saya pun nak minum sekejap. Tekak saya kering. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Continue. Okay, what are the qualities of opportunity? Now we proceed to the next phase. After generating the business idea, now we go to uh, how to shape our qualities of opportunity. Because you already filter it out. Okay, dah dapat dah. Uh, and then your ideas meet all these three elements. Okay. And then you want to shape your opportunities into a quality opportunities okay the quality must be attractive okay it must be timely lah maksudnya uh, if you know that the i uh, the business idea is good okay this is the right time that you can start okay to start producing the product to start open up the business supposed to start with this, uh, the business venture okay durable can be a long term Okay, in terms of if, if the business idea is good, means that it's a for long term period. Okay, if let's say it's for the short term period, make sure that it can be grow. Kalau short term period untuk idea tu, pastikan you punya idea tu can be growing into the next phase. Kalau dia mati macam tu je, tanpa je, three, first year macam tu, second year macam tu, third year macam tu. So you need to do something. Because in product life cycle, you if you start with the introduction part, producing, you start with the introduction state and then you go to the uh, growth stage, masuk ke growth stage and then you go to the uh, maturity stage and then after maturity, declining stage. This is what we call product life cycle. Okay. It is a, a pattern on how we see the producing of products. It's not stagnant. It's not static. You must go with the phase from the introduction, from the growth, from the maturity to the declining stage. Okay. At one time, your product or service will go to the declining stage. Okay. Because of the changes in environment. Okay. Changes in the environment. And of course, the last one is anchor. It can be anchored to create value. So that's why we really recommend all the young graduates from UTEN, especially those students from engineering faculties, must have the good opportunity, okay, so that you can turn whatever you have, the skills that you have, the knowledge that you have, uh, the project, the valuable project that you have to turn to be a good prospect, a good opportunity for your business, okay? Turn out to be um, a good business, okay? So that you can make a lot of money, a lot of money. Okay, so you can create a lot of values on that. So how to identify opportunity? Okay, now we want to learn the process on how to identify opportunity because we already passed with the idea. Okay, we already know how to generate the ideas. Now we go to the second stage, how to identify opportunity because you have the idea. 
what is the customer pain? What is the customer problem? Okay, you need to understand what is the customer problem. So, what does it take to have successful business idea? There are three times mentioned in here, people, people, people. So you want to make sure that your business becomes successful, you must take closely looking at people, people, people. People could be general, okay? People could be your customer, your target market, your clients, okay? Your customer and people also to be, to be your partners, okay? Your stakeholders, right? People also can be your staff, your employees, okay? So people, 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 as, as a general, the, the human, the people. So to make sure that your business becomes successful, you want to take into consideration people here, three times you mentioned in the year. Okay. How to quantify, how to quantify in your pain, okay? How to what we call it um, quantifying ni macam calculate lah calculate ataupun kira okay calculating your pain okay is it high degree or low degree of pain okay sakit tu kalau kita kata sakit pain tu sakit tu terlampau sakit ataupun tak sakit okay scale one to ten ah uh, biasa degree of pain dekat hospital dia akan tanya give you one form okay you need to scale out we what what degree of your pain? Satu tak rasa langsung sakit. One is no pain at all. Ten is really extreme pain. Ah, uh, the really extreme pain pula tu kan? Uh, so what degree of pain? Okay, this is how to quantify pain according to this criteria. Okay, market type, business, decrease expenses, increase revenue. Bukan increase expenses. Eh? Decrease expenses increase revenue you must reduce the expenses must increase the revenue or profit time saving okay time saving consumer convenience entertainment time or dollar or ringgit malaysia savings so good there are several uh, criteria in quantifying your pain okay ini according to uh, how to identify uh, how to what we call it identify opportunity lah okay why pain is critical kenapa pain tu sangat critical okay normally for uh, technology startup okay pain is really critical because it conserves the resources it also makes raising your money easier okay and also you can reach your break even point very fast sooner okay and it allows the company employees to focus okay focus on what you want to to strategize in terms of your marketing in terms of your operation in terms of your human resource so this is allow the company or employees to focus on okay uh, know what expertise is, is needed in employees for training okay uh, for 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 uh, skill development staff development so this is very critical. That's why you need to quantifying the pain. Okay. What happens without pain? What happens without pain? If you are not looking at the pain, if you are not really concerned about pain, so what happens without pain? Okay, this would be happen. Okay, without clear and present pain, you will hire people with wrong skill. If you are not quantifying pain, if you are not taking into consideration about pain, if you are not knowing about your pain, if you are not aware about your pain, so you will hire wrong people. Wrong people, wrong skills. When you do marketing, okay, marketing strategy, okay, you pursue multiple markets, but and multiple, multiple, uh, sorry, multiple markets and opportunity. So you will do a redundancy in your markets and opportunity. And oh, of course, everything's not really turned into good. So you spend a lot of money. Okay, a lot of money, you invest a lot of money than what you have planned before. And because of that, you behind the schedule over budget. 
wrong skill of people you make multiple markets multiple opportunities you use a lot of money and then you behind schedule and over budget so what happened to your business fail fail okay fail so why people we are not talking about pain eh? we are talking about people now get so much credit okay kenapa three times we say people 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 okay because every venture every business focus on the changes Be every business focus on changes because business always change according to the demand demand from the customer because customer always have needs and wants kena ingat eh kena faham dalam business ada needs and wants keperluan dan kehendak Okay, for example, what is customer needs and one customer need? Okay, first need physiological needs. Okay, physiological needs. This is according to Maslow hierarchy of needs. First phase ataupun first stage dalam need ni adalah physiological needs before kita pergi kepada security kan. First physiological. Saya bagi satu contoh. I give you one example here. Physiological needs. Okay, I feel hungry. This is the basic need. I feel hungry. I feel saya lapar. Okay, I feel hungry. So what you need? I need food. I need food. Saya perlukan makanan. Okay. So people will think about food. So when you think about food, we go to the next level. Want. What type of food that you want? What type of food that you want? Okay. What type of food that you want? You have one first option. Nasi lemak. Second option, roti canai. Third options, uh, McDonald. Fourth options, um, apa lagi? Chapati. Uh, fifth options, apa lagi? Uh, uh, what you call? Kuatia soup. Okay, so there are five options here. So choose which one do you want. So I want chapati, for example. I want chapati. So your option here, chapati. So you go and find chapati. So you go outside, you ride your motorcycle, okay? You drive uh, with your car and find the chapati. Where is the chapati place? You look for the, any restaurant, any kiosk, any warung who sell the chapati. This is how you fulfill the demand. The seller will fulfill the demand because People will have needs and wants. They feel hungry, they want food, they will make choice of food. Okay, so the venture, the business, we focus on the changes. Okay, now people, because of the pandemic outbreak, people are looking for the face mask. Okay, L looking for the face mask. Okay, um, for the first pre 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 COVID 19, eh, pre COVID 19. People do not aware of face masks, okay? K94, K95, okay? People are not aware of this type of face mask, okay? K94, K95, whatever it is, it is face mask, okay? But nowadays, you are talking about face masks, especially ladies, okay? Especially, name it. There are a lot of face masks. Certain ladies, they want to wear the face mask, follow, okay? This Color face mask is suited with my attire. Okay. For Monday, pink color. Tuesday, black color. Wednesday, blue color. Thursday, purple color. Friday, red or uh, what we call it, um, gray color. So this has become a trend. See, venture focus on the changes because people will always have need and wants. So this is normal for early stage technology startup. If you have venture to technology startup, if you want to start with your innovations or you want to invent something new, you also need to think about venture focus changes. That's why people, people in the business, it become flounder. Here you got flounder lah. Okay, new management identify the pain and addresses it. Okay, that as a conclusion, people always the key to success. People was the key to success. And it's really things that happen because 
when you focus on customer pain, it is the key to success in your business. Sebab tu kita kena fikir apa masalah nak selesaikan. We need to always serving the people, we need to always serving our customer. And the customer pain, the customer problem, we want to solve the customer pain, we want to solve the customer problems. This is why we mentioned three times people. Jangan buat produk stock sendiri. Zaman dah huru mass manufacturing, mass production, mass manufacturing uh, in uh, industrial revolution 1.0, 2.0. Yes, people doing this mass productions or mass manufacturing. For example, macam dulu orang buat basikal when they are producing bicycles, okay? The US or no, no, no. In Japan, in Japan, they are producing these bicycles, okay? Uh, in mass production, without studying without understanding about the consumer so people use bicycle to move around okay because uh, during that year memang bicycle lah yang paling hebat okay mana-mana orang pakai pun bicycle so that's why the factory uh, implement mass mass productions but nowadays tak banyak dah buat macam tu those industries factories okay are not doing mass productions, but they are mass customization. Mass customization. Of course, for you guys, engineering engineers, when you go uh, enter the industry, okay, pergi kepada kilang industry, working with the industry, of course, many of them, the concept of business is customization. Customizations. Okay. Okay, tak? Ke you all tidur? Jangan la tidur, please. Don't get to sleep. Yeah, when the... <laughs> jangan okay. tidur tau. Saya tahu walaupun suara saya memang sedap untuk tidur. Tapi jangan tidur eh. Jangan tidur lah. Nak tidur after four. Kesian tak saya tahu. I can I can be a talking to my to my computer, to my handphone here without the students. I do not know. I, I, I can't see my students actually. I'm looking at my PC. I'm looking at my camera. This is what we, we see the beauty of online class. Okay, this is the advanced technology. Okay. All right, let's take a look to one example here. Okay, this is examples that we enclose together in the slide presentation. Okay, this is example of how the photographer uh, problems been solved and how the innovations, innovations, yeah, innovations of a product happens, okay. So, kita start dengan problems. But we want to generate the ideas. We start with the problems. Okay, we want to solve the problems. Okay. So, finding a good model, getting right pose for a model. Okay, getting models to pay attention. Number four. Number four is, for example, that we take it in a blue color. Finding the right backdrop. Okay, this could be one of the problems for the photographer. Okay, to find a good or right backdrop. Okay, for their photography session so number five eliminating hotspot on backdrop setting up correct lighting etc etc so finding the right backdrops okay so think of problems photographer have when they want to find the backdrop this is the backdrop okay you can see at behind this bright and grooves okay this is where we have the backdrops to take photo of the bright and grooves okay and then how to to, to to set up the backdrops, of course, you need to assemble the backdrops. So we have this product that could help us, okay, to set up the backdrop. Okay, this is what we call stapler. I don't know, I call it stapler. Okay, this is how it works. Okay, this is Aero T50. Okay, uh, this is how it works and how it looks like. Okay. And then how the, the product design, okay? So you can turn into the ideas from the problems, okay? You get the idea, okay? Finding the right backdrop, okay? And you will think about the products that you want to sell, the stapler, okay? And you want to find new opportunity, okay? From the existing product that you have, and existing market that you have, okay? So, from this arrow T50, where you need to push it here, it becomes the letters or new 
innovations uh, with this power shot. Okay, stapler. I call it stapler lah. Saya panggil dia stapler je. Okay, this is product design opportunity. Okay, so the aerodynamic design could be the latest one and the easiest way to use it compared to the old one. Okay, so this is how we transform from the problems into ideas. Okay, into the new product and uh, from the existing product. Okay, to the new product design. Okay, right. Okay, I stop at that for the generating business idea and turn into business opportunity. Okay, and for the last part in this slide presentation is where the introduction part of the SE. Somebody said that. Ashra, Ashra Arushidi, Arushidi, Ashra Arushidi, are you with me? We can hear your voice. Kita eh kalau nak cakap start lagi cakap. Boleh tak mic microphone start? Yup. Maybe accidentally uh he push the microphone key button. Ni dah tak sabar nak cakap tu. Okay. Asyik Madam Azrina cakap bosan. Okay. Saya tak kisah you orang nak bercakap. Tapi bercakap tanya soalan lah kan. Okay. Apa itu SEO? Start lagi sikit lagi. SEO. Search Engine Optimization. Okay. Sekarang ni nak cari idea senang je. Okay. We go to the search engine. Okay. So you can find the idea. We call letter. Letter. Okay. Uh, in you learn, okay. In you learn, you need to give me uh, several business idea. Now, the fastest way, the fastest way uh, of the students uh, want to generate the business idea, okay, for their assignment, for their business plan, okay. They just use search engine, okay. So we use search engine optimization, okay. Ah, uh, ni kita belajar tentang search engine. Optimization. Okay. So we have search engine, for example, like Google, Yahoo, or Bing. If you use uh, any computers, okay, PC, desktop, uh, laptop, tab, tablets, okay, iPhone, uh, phone, smartphones, okay, uh, you can find a lot of search engine. And the common one is Google. Google. Google Chrome, Google, so you see it is similar search, search engine, Yahoo, okay, Microsoft Edge, Bing. So which one is the common one? I'm always using Google, Google. Uh, for you learn for online uh, final exam for you time, basically kita guna Google, okay, Google. You use Google uh, to use for the you learn. It's the best. Okay, the best features that you can use uh, for you learn is through Google. Okay. All right. How does SEO work? Ah, ni saya rasa student FTMK saya, BITI ni lagi hebat lah. Saya ajar ilmu saya sikit je. My, my knowledge is only a small, a little bit compared to yours. Okay. FTMK punya student ni. Uh, saya student mengajar student BITI eh. Virtual Artificial Artificial Intelligence. Is it? Am I right? Artificial intelligence? Student? Ah, betul, betul. Uh, pandai dah. Saya dah pandai dah sebut. <laughs> We tu kena tahu dah student saya. So my students artificial intelligence. So kata intelligence tu dah pandai lah kan? <laughs> okay, so this is SEO works. You have visitors search engine ranking, okay? So you find the keywords here, type. And then uh, it will display the search result and you also can get the criteria uh, based on the ranking lah. Apa yang you nak cari first ranking uh, until the least one, okay? The lowest search in the internet, okay? We have uh, Google Ads too. Google Ads ni, uh, biasanya AdWords ni paid advertising lah. Biasa nak buat advertising, we use paid advertising. Or for the free one, okay, this one, free. 
organic search results. So, so we have two types lah, paid advertising and free one. Okay, FOC, free of charge. So why we use SEO, search engine optimization, to increase our marketing effectiveness? That's why normally SEO being applied in, in many websites, okay? Because we want to drive the potential traffic to your website, okay? By using this www and some of the relevant keywords, okay? And you want to know the prospect based on the keywords, display in keywords, okay? So this is how you can divert your potential traffic to your website. And of course, the second one is to improve the brand awareness, okay? When all people always looking for your product, always looking for your brand, always looking for your company, always looking for your website, of course, your brand awareness is much higher, okay, Co compared to other competitors. So uh, this is where you can increase the brand awareness. And of course, indirectly, it can increase your sales, okay? Then can gather customer details for free because from the data inside, when you use the SEO, of course, you can gather all the customer details and it's free. You can get the email address, telephone number, ad address, so on and so forth. There are many personal information that you can get when you use SEO. And this is what we get, the data mining, okay, from the uh, analytics, from the Google Analytics, okay. The traffic to your web page can be analyzed accurately, okay, and become a benchmark to understand the effectiveness of your page, of your website, of your content, of your business strategy. This is what we call analytics data, okay. And this is how the functions of keyword, okay, to optimize your web page SEO, focus on long tail keywords. So you can use either uh, long tail or short tails, okay, keywords, okay. Uh, and what tools to help you identify a list of keywords to increase your SEO, okay? So you can use this kind of uh, many types of uh, uh, assistance in Google, okay? For example, you have Google Trends, Google Suggest, Google AdWords, Google Planner, okay? Continue, at least you have some exposure lah, you have some knowledge, information about SEO. Nanti kalau tanya SEO tu apa, tak adalah tu congang, congang, tak tahu apa benda SEO kan? You are blur je kan? You don't know what is SEO. Never come across in my life the words SEO, search engine optimizations, okay? At least you study in technology entrepreneurship subject, you know SEO tu apa. Okay, so you have Google Trends, Google Suggest, ni yang tadi tu lah. Okay, you also can use some techniques. For example, if you want to set up Facebook page, ni pun saya tak perlu terangkan sebab you all selagi expert daripada saya kan? Okay, you know how to create your own Facebook page, okay? So choosing choosing the best page name, okay, that related to your business, that related to your relevant keywords, okay? And this is where you custom your URL, okay, from the Facebook page, you can customize your URL, okay? All right? And then you also can use the keywords to set the strategic location of your Facebook page, okay? and put the details of your telephone numbers, address in here, okay? And you also can put uh, image, interesting image, okay? Nice image, okay, to increase your uh, optimizations, okay? Attract attentions of visitors, okay? And that's it. That's the end of the lecture. Ta -da 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 Do you have any questions? Ada soalan tak? You have any questions? So far, so good. Is it okay? He can have a Okay, Alhamdulillah. How about the Tunuh Hidayah students? Is it okay? Everyone's fine. Everyone okay? Do you have any okay, questions? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, I would like to remind for my student, the ITI, my dear student. Okay, uh, actually, we have actually we have some activities. I just want you to to go to the you learn. Let me just give you some. Where is it? Kat mana sebenarnya? You learn ni sekejap eh. Saya cari you learn saya kat mana. Okay, now I know. I've stopped sharing this one. I need to go to Google Chrome. Okay. Okay, if you go to our you learn, okay, I would like to share with you our you learn. Okay.
okay, actually I already edited something in the headlines of the of the every weekly uh, lecture. It mistakenly uh, put the headlines, so I redo again. So this one is correct one. So you go to week two, okay, week two, which means this week today, and go to the last. Activities here, please state your group business ideas. Okay. Uh, I will change here the setting here. So, but I need 2021 kan, last semester. So say I can change the setting that's in me on today, starting today. So in here you need to state your group business ideas. So when I click on it, so you need to submit lah, submit uh submit the business idea like this one. I show it to you, eh? I'm not sure about Dr. Nohidaya class. I think it's similar. It's applicable for Dr. Nohidaya class uh, asking for the same uh, activities. If you go to the, the you learn uh, from Dr. Nohidaya's you learn, you can find the same activity too. Okay, let me stop this one. Sekejap, saya kena tutup sebab saya tak nampak dia punya atas tu. <laughs> okay, let me check. Okay, this is my last semester students gift for the group ideas, okay, group business ideas. Okay. So maybe you can make a cover page like this one, okay. Your group members name, your metric numbers, okay. Your friends' metric numbers here. Yeah. So I would like to have to see, okay, what is your potential group business idea that you want to do for your business plan report, okay. This is just uh, what we call it uh, free, okay, free uh, introductions of your business idea, okay. Just throw the idea among your friends, among your group members, okay. What we want to do for your business plan, okay. Because I want to know, I want to ask you to think about what would be your business idea for your business plan project? Okay, for example, like this one. This is example from my previous student did in the business idea activities. Okay, so it's stated product, theme, or category, consumer goods. Okay, what would be the possibility of scope and target market? So for students and family. Okay, uh, this is the 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 range price for each of the product. Okay. So this is just, just a glance uh, through ideas of what you want to do for your business plan project. It's not, um, it's not actually uh, the final one. Okay, you can improvise later, but I want to know what is your initial idea. Okay, initial idea. Upper, just send it to me. Okay, your, your, your ideas in the in the you learn okay in the you learn so don't worry too much this is just for me to understand uh, how far do you understand about your business idea jangan kata alamat madam ni uh, dah nak final final business idea ke nak tahu ke tak 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 just throw the ideas i want to know maybe it could be your final ideas okay maybe because some of your friends already have the idea to do what for the business plan or maybe you just discuss on your group members. Okay, maybe we can do this. Okay, it's it just an initial idea, an initial idea. Okay, so don't be shy. Don't be shy to discuss with me or with Dr. Nol Hidayah. Okay, about your business idea. You need to uh, open your mind, open for discussions. Okay, in that way we can help you to do better business plan project or business plan report. Okay, so any questions up until this part? So I now open for Q&A session, question and answer sessions. So do not forget to uh, register your attendance in ULEN for Dr. Nohidaya's class and also for my class. Uh, for my class, uh, the attendance is until 4 o'clock, 4 p.m. So right now you can do your registrations.
Ada apa pun soalan tak? Abdullah, do you have any uh, soalan pula? Uh, any questions? Siapa lagi? Ya saya ingat lagi. Yang lain-lain ada soalan tak? Okay semuanya. So far so good. Is it okay? So far so, so good. So far so good. Uh, kalau ada ada masalah ke isu ke, okay, don't be shy. Uh, if you think that you do not satisfied with anything, just uh, tell me about it, okay? Uh, tak payahlah bagi tahu dekat fakulti ke, dekat PDA ke. Oh, I do not under, I do not uh, satisfied with this, this lecturer, okay? Because we open for discussions, okay? Don't worry. I open for the discussion. Dr. Nohidaya open for the discussion. If you want to improve something in this subject, you also can let me know about it, okay? Boleh inform pada kami supaya kami boleh improvekan lagi. Right? So, don't worry too much, okay? Mm, communication is very important in this class. Okay? Communication is very important in this class. Right? If no further questions, so that's it for today. That's it for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for your participation, for your time. Inshallah, next week you will see Dr. Nohidaya. Okay, she will be teaching you for the third topic. Okay, the topic where you will interesting to know about the business plan. Okay, you can ask a lot of questions about business plan, our assignment in third week of class. Okay, third week of class. So that's it for today. Thank you so much from me, Madam Azrina. So I'll see you, Inshallah. Uh, in this class, technology entrepreneurship. Okay, so take care, everyone. Stay safe. Shall we we'll see you again? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye. Thank you, madam. 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 Bye bye, bye bye. 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 Bye bye.